Okay, welcome to today's quick tip of the day. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is how to properly require or depend on another package within an Eclipse product. So the first thing we'll do is we will set up so our development environment points to Lotus Notes as the active target platform. So let's go ahead and start with default, start with an empty target. And we're going to call this Lotus Notes Development. And I'm going to add my installation to the dialog. So we'll come in here, go to Lotus Notes, Framework, RCP, Eclipse. So that's where it installs. Uh, and that's where it can read the configuration of all the plugins and features. So that will go through and essentially process what plugins and what features are installed. And then we're able to select which packages or plugins we want to depend on within our own plugin that we're developing. Um, and it's essentially going to open up pretty much the whole entire API set that gets installed into Lotus Notes. So that takes a little bit, so we'll wait for that. And we'll just click Finish. Now, if you're using the Expediter Toolkit, all of this stuff would just come for free, and you wouldn't have to um, do this particular step. Okay. Lots of plugins. 1,839 plugins. So now we will and select that and we will select Lotus Notes development environment. Okay, so it's now resetting the target platform and creating the uh, configuration so it can reference it. Okay, so now there are two ways you can do it. You can add a dependency to a plugin. So let's just say we wanted to work with the COM IBM notes client APIs um, we would go we could go ahead and select the plugin and then we could save it and then we could go look at it. now basically any package that is inside of that uh, plugin we can now reference and if you come to your plugin dependencies you can see here we now have full access to the notes WC UI and Java API util and we can even crack some of these open and, and look at some of the, the classes and packages. Um, the problem with this interface, as you'll notice, is inside of the manifest over here, it actually puts the bundle version. So this means that this would only work with a Lotus Notes version of 8.5.3 or above for that particular plugin. So if, you're not, if you don't really care about uh, the version of the COM IBM Notes client plugin to use, you could just simply remove that dependency in the version and it will use whatever it can. Now, you may have some backward compatibility issues if you use APIs, excuse me, if you use APIs or anything that may have changed. Um, so let's go ahead and save that. Now, another way to do it so you're not dependent on any particular plugin is just to simply come in here and require or import a package so you can see here now we can like for instance reference the com IBM notes Java um, UI package this is a much cleaner way of uh, depending on other plugins and you'll notice here we only depend on this particular jar not the entire plugin and if you go back to the manifest, you'll see now we have a new line called import package. So this is a much cleaner way to let Eclipse decide which plugins you will depend on versus you saying uh, which plugins um, uh, you want. You just simply say, hey, I want to utilize these packages, and you let the Eclipse subsystem figure out which bundles export those packages. Uh, this is actually the preferred method uh, to, to depend on uh, packages, uh, essentially, so Eclipse does the resolution and not you at development time. So I hope you uh, enjoy this uh, quick tip, and thanks for listening.